Hello drummers, Rob Litton here from drumstheword.com. Welcome to this free full video song lesson where today I'm going to show you how to play the song Rat Trap by the Boomtown Rats, drummed by Simon Crow. I've got all four pages, a full PDF drum chart for you to download from my website for free. So have all four pages printed out in front of you as we go through this together. It's going to make things a lot easier for you to understand. While you're over at the website getting the free PDF, you might want to consider signing up to become an online member where you get access to every single full video song lesson I've ever recorded and transcribed, coming up to almost 650 uh, uh, full uh, famous and popular songs now. But we'll talk more about that at the end of the lesson. And if you want to make your own song suggestions, then please go over to my Facebook page. That's the best place to do it. You'll see a post pinned to the top of the page. People get to write their suggestions in the comments. Others get to vote on them and the most popular songs get chosen for future lessons, just like this one was today. So this is an intermediate lesson. Um, on uh, Each bar on its own, nothing really complicated going on, apart from a few little tiny bits. Um, but uh, really, um, what makes this, this song quite difficult and surprising as well um, is the amount of variations that occur and the, the amount of reading that's needed. There's uh, a lot of um, offbeat kind of stuff going on. Um, and so understanding where the downbeat is, is going to help you a lot as we go through this, uh, go through, uh, as you play this song, as you're going to see. Um, there's a lot of cool hi-hat stuff, open hi-hats on the, on the ands, um, offbeat stuff, as I said, with some of these drum fills. So we'll just crack on and you'll see what I mean as we go through. Um, so we, we start with like this, um, this, this band stab section uh, where Simon gets to sort of let loose a little bit, almost like a miniature drum solo. We come in at eight seconds, we've got like a little intro and then Simon comes in with the first drum part at eight seconds roughly. And it's a snare drum, hi-hat and bass drum, open hi-hat and we start off with this build up. One and two and three and four. Then we get an old classic click, the fuddle of dump or bucket of fish, however you want to um, think of it or call it. Right, left, right, bass drum. So we start it on, on the and of four and it ends on beat one. The, the last note there of the four notes is beat one of the next bar. So we get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and one. We then go into the next bar where um, Simon comes back in with uh, the rest of the drums with uh, a crash and snare drum on beat two. So after that bass drum ending that fuddle adult, we get one, two, snare and crash. And then throughout this chart, I've written some gaps, usually after a crash cymbal. Um, I haven't written the hi-hat straight afterwards. That's what Simon's doing most of the time, but then sometimes he also comes down to the hi-hat to fill in the gap. So um, don't worry too much about where the gaps are after crash cymbals. That's just to give your right hand time to move back um, or move to a crash cymbal. But if you, feel, if you feel comfortable coming back to the hi-hat to play those notes in between, as we can see here on beat two, we get two, three, and four, and you could play two, and you could play the and there on the and of two if you wanted to. So we get two, three, and four, and offbeat crash on the and of four. That's going with the rest of the band. Then another example of this, and the last time I mentioned it, we skip over beat one, or Simon chooses two, but you could play one and two. So after that offbeat crash on the and of four, and one and two, you could play one and on a hi-hat, but at this set of tempo, we get a one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three. There's, because the crashing was ringing out, you don't really feel, um, you don't really miss those, those hi-hat notes being played. Anyway, last time I mentioned that. Next bar, two and, and then three E and a four E and, that's 60 notes on the snare drum, starting with the open hi-hat and bass drum. Three E and a four E and a one, it rolls into the, the next bar, beat one, bass drum and snare drum, one, two, and then we got that, that stab again on, on beat two. One, two, three and four and, exactly the same as the second bar. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm gonna keep that in just for your own amusement and perhaps your own horror as well. Um, then we get the last bar uh, of that line. We get one and two and, again, skipping over the beat one. And then these flams, three and four and, three and four and. And then the next line is, is kind of hard to hear, but I think he plays a flam between the floor tom and the snare drum. So we get one, the bass drum as well, one, and then two, three and four and that bar again. Then we get this syncopated drum fill. One and two and three and four and a one. So this is what I mean about the tricky part of it is it's got lots of offbeat stuff going on here. One and two and three and four and a one. 
Then we go with that last bar, starting with the last note of that floor tom fill. One, two, three, four, and flam, and. So a lot of stuff going on there already. Let me play those two lines for you slowly, and I'll play this up to speed for you in a moment. We get one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and a four, and a one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Now let me play it up to speed for you. Without the microphones, you can hear just the drums and perhaps without me coughing weirdly over the top. Here we go. So then we get a large break. The rest of that line is rested, six bars of it. Then verse one starts where um, I, I, uh, I believe that's where the vocals come in. So we get eight bars more of rest. And then Simon comes in with the next section of the song, this new drum beat. We're playing bass drums on all four beats. One, two, three, four. And then on the end of three, we get an open hi-hat. One, two, three, and four. Closes on beat four on its own. We're not playing and four, though you could if you wanted to. It's just and four. And then a flam snare drum on the and of four. So really offbeat kind of, uh, how would you call it? It, it, it? It's sort of implying some sort of um, offbeat uh, uh, rhythms. One, two, I wanted to say reggae, but it's not really reggae at this point. Um, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. And. But our bass drum pumping on all four beats is certainly something that uh, you know you do hear in, in, um, in reggae music. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and simple as that. But again, you've got to be understanding where the bass drum is falling. It's on the downbeats. Don't lose where beat one, two, three and four are. It continues on to the next line where we get one, two, three and four and for two more bars. But then straight after bar two, you've got to be ready with one and two and three and four and one and two and. So just the two lowest toms. Two and I read it as highest and lowest, but just really your 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 two lowest toms. We get all um, so we get one, two, and three, four. Then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then another offbeat kind of drum fill where you got to um, be and um, you got to know where the downbeat is because you're coming in on the and of beat one, one and two and three and four. The highest tom I've written there. One and two and three and four ands. So uh, let me just play that second line for you. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four. We to our next line. Well, we sort of get a resemblance of, of a normal drum beat. Um, so it's really just a case of following what the bass drum's doing. The snare drum's playing on beats two and four. Just follow what the bass drum's doing. So let me just play the first line for you, um, uh, so you can hear. Wait, just, just when you're reading this, just follow what the bass drum's doing. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one. That's the kind of thing we're doing there. Same for the next line. First two bars, just follow what the bass drum's doing. Third bar. In the fourth bar, we get our next big drum fill. One, two, a three, and a four, and a. So we just this a few times a song where he starts the drum fill on the uh of two. So just after that, a hi hat on the and of two. One and two and a three and and a three and a four and a one into a crash. We're then into chorus one. So before we do, let me now play for you uh, lines two, three, four, and five of verse one. Here we go. So chorus one, 
Um, lots of stuff to look out for here. We've got closed and open hi-hats being used. Um, so the little O's above the hi-hats here for the first two bars are open hi-hat. We get, oh uh, yeah, one and two and three and three. Bass and snare on all four beats. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. It then closes for the next two bars. One, two, three and four and one, two, three and four, one. And we get this open hi-hat on four. Four and a one. And a little drag, this is what I think I'm hearing. I think he's, he, so I'm definitely throwing in some little drag ghost notes throughout the song. And here's our first example of it. This is more of a, an advanced technique. Uh, so you can leave out these ghost note drags if you wanted to, but if you're at the level where you can play them, try to include them in because they are quite cool. It drags into beat one of the next bar really nicely. Four and a one. So we get one and two and three and four, one. You probably couldn't hear it very clearly because the hi-hat's ringing out, but it, it's there. Then we get this like half-time thing, snare drum on beat three, one and two and three and four and. Then we get this cool offbeat stab hi-hat thing, one and two and three and four. Starting snare drum on one, then offbeat hi-hat and bass drums on the ands, one and two and three and four. Into a build-up between floor tom and snare drum, one and two and three and four and over two bars. Next line, continue with the closed hi hat. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One. We get that idea again. Four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Slight difference there, though, this time with that offbeat hi hat thing. He doesn't play the bass drum on the and of three. So if you want to play it note for note, you could do that. I probably would play the bass drum on the, the and of three. It actually sounds pretty weak on the recording. Um, and for whatever reason, he doesn't play it there. So he's actually written it, uh, he's actually played it as one and two and three and four, which works just as well, but random thing to point out, I know. Uh, so then page two, chorus two continued. We get um, back to um, snare drum on all four beats with the, with the bass drum. One, two, so it starts with a snare and crash this time. One and two and three and four. And then the second bar slightly opens over the length of it. One and two and three and four and then back to closed. One, two, three and four. Bar four has the four one and then we go into that um, half time bar on the next line. One, two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Back to the normal with that idea. Then we get one, two, three, four. We end it there with floor tom. Again, I've written it as the high tom and floor tom, but I've, I'm going to play it as the, the two lowest toms. Four and one, two, and the rest of that bar is rested. So those last two bars, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So as you can see, lots of stuff to go over already. <clears throat> lots of changes, each, each line slightly different. So let me now play for you chorus one up to, sp uh, chorus one up to speed. So page one and then page two. Um, where it continues over. Here we go. So then we get a brief little bridge where another new drum beat is introduced. Uh, we get one, two, three, four, building us up for two bars. Then we get this cool idea. Bar three, one and two and three and a four, and one and two and three and a four. Now because of the motion, of, well, the, the, the uh, sticking, it feels quite natural. Um, it sounds kind of weird on the recording and, and to play it, but, but once you see how it's played and you play it yourself, you go, oh, actually, that's actually relatively easy because you're just coming off the hi-hat and a four, and a four, and it kind of feels quite natural. One and two and three and a four and one and two and three and a four and, and a four and. Your right hand's play and every time, even on beat, well, apart from beat four there, of course. And that bass drum falls with that snare drum on beat four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. 
Next time we get this alternating idea where the first bar, verse two, one and two and three and four and he plays flams on the and of three and the and of four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Next bar is back to one and two and three and a four. So that line there has the two um, uh, variations played twice. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and. We then go on next line. It's just one of those two variations. You can see it's it's the first one played for the first two bars and the second one for the third and then back to the first for the fourth bar. Next line though, we start to get some cool variations going with the rest of the song uh, with the walk. The walk, bat bat. So uh, for this bar here, line three now, one and two and three and four and. Bit weird that because you haven't been playing that previously. One and two and three and four. You could play it right, right. I'm gonna play it left, left. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you can hear that bass I'm still pumping on all the quarter notes. Bar three, go into a, a snare drum back beat. One and two and three and four and one. And then the fourth bar, still maintain the bass drum on all, all the uh, downbeats, we get one and two and three and four and. So all the offbeat ands are opened. Then we go into the next line where we go for just for one bar, or one, yeah, one bar, the snare drum's played on beat two. So look out for that if you want to play it note for note. He goes one and two and three and four and. Whether he did it on purpose or a mistake, fine, absolutely cool. But then he goes back to normal, one and two and three and a four and. Then two bars of the flams. Next line, again he starts it, so maybe it wasn't a mistake, one and two and three and a four and. So again, if you want to play note for note, look out for that snare drum on beat two, that might um, um, surprise you. Third bar, sad stuff. Fourth bar though, very simple, one and two and three and four and. Nothing played there apart from that. Then we go into uh, bridge one, which should be bridge two. I'm, I'm going to make a note of that. I've, I've, got, I've got the name, uh, the numbering wrong. That should be bridge two, I believe, at this point. Yeah, where we play a flam and snare drum on bass drum on beat one. One, two, three, and then every half a bar we play a drag into a snare drum and bass drum. Two, three, four, one, two. Three. Tempo hasn't changed. We're just playing on beats one and three only. Again, if you can't play that left hand drag, leave it out, just play one. To perhaps just play a flam every time, that would work for you. But he plays one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. On it goes. Same for the second line. Bar two though, one, two, three, four. And I think he plays it with the bass drum as well. Floor tom and next highest tom, we get four, one, two, three, four, and one. And this is probably the first time that lick has been played as well in the song, where he plays and a one on the lowest tom. That happens a few times later in the song. So those last three bars, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, four. Next section. So let me now play for you. I won't play the first line of verse two because it's, it's, it's all very similar. I'll start from the second line of verse two and then all the way to the end of bridge one or bridge two. Here we go. So for the next parts of the songs, we're sort of just repeating ideas we've already done already. Um, so uh, we get bridge three, which I've numbered correctly. Well done, Rob. We get loose hi-hat, one, two, three, four, and. It's offbeat stab again into beat bar two, one, and two, three, four. Then we start to get int introduced to double crash cymbals. One, two, three, and four, and. So look out for that. That occurs a bit more later in the song, one, two. 
Uh, and then the and of four at the end of that bar, and then bar four is one and two, a thicky and a forty and a, as we had in previous sections. One, two, three, and four, and the next lot in the next bar. Bar two, one and two and three and four and one. Exactly the same as we had at the beginning of the song, I believe. Into one, two, three, and four, and, and then standard bar for bar four. Then we go into uh, the sax solo. Again, those two double crash symbols. One, two, three, and four, and. Bar two, one and two, and. And I think he plays three and a four and a one. Highest, next highest, lowest. So one and a two and a, oh, starts on beat three. Three and a four and a one. We get and a one going into that crash symbol there. So one and two and three and a four and a one. Two, look out for that double crash. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four. Next line, I'm not going to waste your time, standard stuff. Bar three, though. One, two, three, four. And then all three, uh, yeah, all three limbs, apart from the hi-hat foot. One, and two, and three, and four, and into the verse where the hi-hat closes again. So we get this one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, into verse three. So let me play two lines of sax solo for you. Here we go. So for verse three, we're just playing one drum beat. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one. It ends with three and four, uh, three and four, and one into chorus two, where we get one, two, three, uh, that's closed hi-hat, one, two, three, four, and then over that length of that second bar, it slowly opens. One, uh, uh, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, closes again. And we got the same ideas as we had in our previous choruses with the four. Actually, that hi hat doesn't open at the end of that first line. Four or one. Uh, but then we get the. And then the last line we get one, two, three, four. So up to that point, when he's playing the open hi hat, you can sort of feel that he's playing the eighth notes, but this time he definitely doesn't. He's just playing quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four on that floor tom. Uh, next highest time and bass drum, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, end of the page. So page four, we go back to a similar idea we had earlier on. We get one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and for two lines. Then uh, line three, he, he doubles it up. We get one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, Two. Look out for that going into bar three. One and two and three and four and a one, two, three, four. Then we go into the outro and we get a, a, a crashed, a choked crash symbol. One, two, three, four, next bar rested. Then another example of this, these offbeat drum fills, you've got to be able, you've got to feel comfortable confidently counting through. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and because that comes in there, one and two on the and of beat one. One and two and three, flower on three. Then four and one and two and three and four and. So those last two bars, one and two and three and four and, missed it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Into our next line. Where... Where do we want to go? Yeah, we've we, we got the next line, which is basically one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, one. And I'm definitely hearing some drags at the end of the second bar. One, two, three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, one. Again, leave out the drags if you want to, or you can't play them. Basic stuff, the second line. Going into bars three and four, we start to get the open hi-hat gradually over the length of the two bars. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, then we go into the full outro, which is fully open hi-hat. We get one, two, three, and four, and... Then we get this idea. One, and two, and three, and four, and one. He starts to play the snare drum on all four beats. 
and it's the bass drum that's dancing around it. So we get one and, and then after that point, instead of just playing on all four beats, one and two and three and four and one, you place and one with the bass drum, skips over the and of beat one, one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one. That second to last line, bar two, I think he leaves out some spaces with the bass drum and plays just the and of two and the and of four. It's kind of cool kind of uh, rhythm. We get one, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and for those two bars. Then one and two, And then the last line where I've written it, where, where the song starts to fade out, we get one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two. I don't think he plays a snare drum on beat one of that third bar. One, two, three, and four, and one, and then one, two, and three, and four, and one, where the song completely fades out. So my goodness, there's a lot there. Let me now play that stuff for you. Um, I'm going to start from the second line of, of verse four, top, top of the page, second line, all the way to the end of the song. Here we go. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you've got any questions, feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. Don't forget to download all four pages of the PDF for free. Again, the link is beneath this video. And then while you're over the website, like I said at the beginning of this lesson, for £97, you can sign up to become an online member where you get access to every single full video song lesson I've ever recorded and transcribed. And that's coming up to almost 650 famous and popular songs where just like this lesson I teach you the song from start to finish, you get the fully transcribed PDF drum chart. Um, and uh, as a thank you for signing up, I'll give you access to hundreds more little videos. So not just the, the songs up on the website already, you get hundreds more little videos teaching you many, many famous drum beats, fills, and even drum solos. I'll give you three ebooks I've written over the years containing hundreds more famous beats, fills, and solos. And then over the year of your subscription, you also gain instant online access to all the new material that I upload for my members. And I record new lessons every week unless I'm ill or on holiday. So you've got lots of cool stuff to look forward to over the year of your subscription. But if you've got any questions about any of that, then feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. And until our next drum lesson together, toodle pip and happy drumming to you.